Earlier this year, I was sent this test plug by a chap called Adrian, and he'd bought it thinking it would be quite useful um, as a backup to his other testers. Um, and it's along the lines of these test plugs here. There's a whole range of them available. And basically speaking, when you plug them in, they give a very simple no go no go type socket test. And I'll show you what happens if I plug this in. So if I plug this in now, two slightly shimmery LEDs, light, and if you look down the chart here, it says that's okay, that's a, a good result. And the principle of these is very simple. If it is what, uh, what I think it is. One of the earlier testers used to be a neon plug tester. And it was very simple. You had the earth, or ground, you had the live, or hot, and you had the neutral, or return. And it, the circuitry was so simple, you, it was basically three neon indicators. You'd have a resistor, and you'd have the neon indicator. Typical value of the resistor would have been 220k in the UK. And then you'd have another resistor going between the, these two terminals, and you'd have another neon indicator. And again, one more resistor and one more neon indicator. And when you plugged it in, the ideal scenario is that these two neons would light, one with the current flowing through the neon to the neutral, and one with the current flowing through the neon to the earth. And that was the sort of correct result. You get other ones that try and light all three, but uh, they usually have a sort of com a complicated structure of resistors to actually try and achieve that inside. I prefer the simpler ones. I'd rather it just has the two lights indicate to show you that it's good. A typical other fault that may occur, supposing live and neutral get reversed, if that was the case, then these two neons would light. If the if it was wired correctly but the earth was missing, you'd tend to get a situation where all the neons would light because uh, if the earth was missing, it would uh, light this one, but the current would flow through that neon, but it wouldn't be finding a reference to the earth. So then it would flow through that neon as well to the neutral and all the lights would light. Now, these things can't detect a swap between neutral and earth because technically speaking, they're bonded together in most installations. They're not in this installation because uh, this is a TT electrical system that's feeding this particular building. And that's why when I test this plug here, and this is quite an expensive, sophisticated one, this one doesn't just do that test of the uh, between live neutral earth, but it also it does a loop impedance test, and it gives you a simple good check or urgent check. And it also does a, an RCD test for up to 30 milliamp RCDs. And it's also got a polarity check, which tells you that the local earth, the ground connection, is actually correctly referenced to ground and it detects if there's a voltage differential between your body and the ambient environment and the ground. So if I plug this in now, it's actually going to fail the earth loop impedance test. So it's passed the, the general test. It's doing the loop impedance test now and uh, it's showing check. And the reason it's showing check is because um, it's an earth electrode system. It's not got a good loop impedance compared to a uh, normal installation that the neutral and earth are combined. And the polarity check is the final test. If I touch my finger here, it does that reference to ground. Sorry for all the peeping. It's a noise of the little plug. Simpler ones like this just do the test and that's it. Just three LEDs and two light to show that sort of uh, sequence. Now, one of the things that annoyed Adrian when he got this, when he bought it, it was advertised as having an LCD display. And it certainly does have an LCD display, and it's got implications, shall we say, in the... When you look at the listings, it almost implies that it gives you electrical information. It says things like frequency and maximum voltage and current. It looks as though it's going to show some sort of digital readout, but it's not. Um, I've got another test I can do with this. Watch this. I shall uh, do the loop impedance test. So, not loop impedance. I shall do the, the earth leakage test. So if I plug this into an RCD, residual current device, otherwise known as a GFI, and I press the test button, it kills the power. I've got a slight lag on my main RCD to avoid it tripping, uh, so I can trip locally with one of these. But the interesting bit is the actual function of the LCD here. Because if I defeat all safety, and I don't recommend doing this, 
This lets you plug the earth pin into live, and this is the first application I've found that's actually quite useful. If I plug it into live, watch the display. I'm going to tilt this up so you can see it. If I touch the reference now, because it's detecting uh, a voltage difference to me in my ambient environment from the earth connection, it's now making the LCD panel show a big exclamation mark with a triangle around it that shows there is a significant voltage differential. I'm not sure what voltage differential is required to test that. So um, inside... Adrian had already opened it to explore before he sent it. That's when he discovered the LCD only had two connections, which is a bit of a clue. So let's take a look at this. Three screws hold this together. I can kind of guess what this is already. The earth uh, leakage test will simply connect a resistor between live and earth. Oh. Right, I'm not going to get that out because that touch connector's in there. Okay, so here's a, here is the unit. It looks, to all intents and purposes, live through a diode, through a resistor. It looks as though they've implemented it more or less exactly as the old Neon ones. With the live... With between each, it looks as though they've got the, the triangle again, but this time, instead of having a res resistor and neon, they've got a resistor diode and LED. The LCD is connected to the earth. In this instance, the red actually denotes neutral. Very, That's very typically Chinesey. The black is live, and the yellow is the earth. Um... Right, tell you what, I'm going to trace this circuit out and then we'll take a look at it and see how it works. Job done. So let's take a look at this circuitry. The first thing is the uh, Earth, uh, the uh, RCD or GFI test is really simply, it's a resistor between live and Earth with a push button. And that's the resistor here. Its value is 6,800 ohms or 6.8K. And all that happens, you push that button, it's a simple tactile type button. Uh, when you press that, all it does is it shunts that between live to earth to deliberately cause a leakage. And if you, uh, where's the calculator? Let's work it out. What will the voltage, the current be? 240, uh, I equals V over R, divided by 6,800 ohms. They're aiming for about 30 milliamps. It's about 35 milliamps, so just out of interest, uh, on a worst case European supply would be 220 volts divided by 6,800 ohms. That oh, still gives 32 milliamps. Okay, so that should trip the uh, tester, fine. It's notable if it did not trip the tester, you can't keep that button held, because if you do, that resistor's going to get very hot. How hot would it get? Uh, typically, if that was 35 milliamps, at 240 volts. P equals IV, 240 volts RMS times uh, 0 0.035, it would get 8 watts hot. I think that looks like a 2 watt resistor, uh, so it's okay for a brief spell at that uh, power, but any longer and that's going to start getting very, very hot and smoky and doing nasty things. The LCD is the next thing it's worth looking at. It's quite an odd arrangement. It really is, the LCD is simply being powered. It's going between earth and the touch plate. So if there is an AC voltage difference between those, like say for instance, something had gone wrong in the supply to the building that somehow um, a neighbouring building had been connected to with the neutral and live reversed, or in the case of this building, it could be that this building had the neutral and live reversed. And in, this is particularly important where buildings have the, the earth reference to neutral, and that's very common. Um, I mentioned that this is a TT system, which means that I just get a neutral and live in, and then I have to provide my own earth with an earth electrode. Another system is, uh, one of the most common systems is TNCS, and that means that when the supply comes in, you get a live and you get a combined neutral and earth in the same uh, cable, and it gets split out at that point when it comes into your house. And... That's actually uh, fairly, if you get that the wrong way around, then your house could eff effectively be alive with respect to the ambient ground. And that's where what this will detect. It will detect that difference. It will use you as an antenna to detect uh, the difference of potential between you and the actual building's earth. 
It's also worth, well, worth noting that uh, with the TNCS systems, if the TNCS, if the neutral breaks anywhere, your building loses its earth and really weird things can happen. Uh, you can get weird voltages, you can get a significant potential difference between your house and things out in the garden. It's just not a good situation. Unfortunately, it's a really common situation these days because someone pinched some pennies. But not to worry. So, notable things about the LCD. It, for safety, it's got a 22 meg ohm resistor between you and the touch uh, sensor. It's that resistor there. I'd rather have a 2 in series, just for the extra voltage uh, protection. Um, but that's going to limit it to a, a tiny amount of current. The LCD only requires a tiny amount of current. It's also got a 2.5 meg ohm resistor, which might just be for... Well, voltage dividing, I'm guessing. And also to inverse series diodes. I'm not sure what these are. I thought they might be Zeners. I did try testing on my bench supply and I gave up when I got up to about 27 volts, I think it was. I decided not to go any further. And uh, these had not, one of them had not started conducting yet. It's basically an AC uh, Zener diode. I'm not sure what they are, but they're designed to cap the voltage at some level. But I'm not sure what voltage an LCD display will tolerate. Uh, then it comes to the LEDs, the three LEDs in the front themselves. <clears throat> and that is basically just like the neon one. Except in this case, there's a LED, there's a resistor and a diode, polarity diode, which really, that cuts down the dissipation of the resistor in this case and also protects the diode if it needs it from reverse voltage. It's not uncommon in cheap products to find an LED and a resistor and no diode just because they rely on the fact that when it's reverse biased, the LED will avalanche. It will just suddenly conduct above a certain voltage. And uh, that just means that resistor would dissipate a lot more heat. In this case, it's only dissipating heat on half of the main cycle. The use of the steering diodes effectively also means that whereas in the neon one where if you had a missing earth it would have made all the the neons light in this case it won't do that it will just be a just one will light because it can't provide a current path all the way through because the diodes are in opposite directions so i'm guessing the front of this will show that if the uh, earth is missing it will just be one led that lights Protective earth open, just one LED lights, yep. And that's fundamentally it. Um, it basically just lights a, an appropriate number of LEDs. The correct sequence and the correct situation would be this LED lighting and this LED lighting because live would be finding a current path to earth and to neutral. Um, so they're very, very simple. I would say you can make them yourself quite easily, but to be honest, they come in these nice packages uh, all ready to go. Um, and they're so cheap, these simple ones. But uh, the LCD is actually a fairly interesting feature. It's a very simple way of detecting the um, hazardous situation of the ground, uh, the building's ground being referenced to a high AC voltage. It's a kind of rare situation, but you know, it can happen. And when it does, it, it usually happens when there's been some work done in the local power line, they somehow get the cable swapped at the transformer and it can result in quite serious implications. Everything in the house will work okay, there's just a risk you're going to get a shock from exposed earth metal work in the house. So, I mean, it's it's a reasonable enough design. It works. It's a very basic design. The, the LCD is a nice feature in this one, and, but, and the earth leakage, uh, earth leakage, the... I keep mixing that up. RCD tester works. But, um, so it's functional, but um, not as good as a, a set of the professional testers with the uh, com the earth loop impedance test. But um, for certainly for basic DIY testing and stuff like that, they're absolutely fine. 